Well, Carolyn, he came down to our trucks to talk to us, and the first thing he did is he brought this composite sketch to us. It was made with the dad, who's still being questioned, but this is the man the dad says carjacked him this morning at gunpoint and took his little girl. Chief Godby says he'd like some tips if anybody knows who this is, but he said, well, they'd like tips. The first and foremost thing, the most important thing, is finding little Bianca Jones. That's what everyone wants to do tonight. We're all worried, uh, but we have to maintain our focus. We have to stay calm. Uh, we have to have clear heads. We have to rotate people in and out of the command post. Um, I mean, we have to be resolved to get this done. Uh, right now, uh, no matter what our worry is, I'm sure it does not trump the worry of the family. Uh, so we have to maintain our calm, uh, do what we know how to do, follow every lead, uh, continue to get information out. I mean, we're using Twitter, Facebook, anything we can do to get information out. Uh, so everybody's been really diligent about this one issue. Now, of course, the chief came and talked to us just a few moments ago. About an hour ago, we did talk to Bianca's mom, who desperately wants her little girl, of course, to be home. I just don't think this is real. It just does not feel real, and I, I'm hoping to wake up and she'll be there. Two-year-old Bianca Jones has been missing now for more than 13 hours, and her mom needs her back, desperately wants her back, and is begging anyone who knows something to come forward. Please, please just bring my daughter home. That is all I want. Just please bring my daughter home. According to the little girl's dad, she was taken during an armed carjacking this morning, not far from the mom's home. But the car was found just blocks away, and the toddler was gone. Just bring Bianca home, and no one is looking for you. We are looking for Bianca. Detroit police responded quickly and began searching the area with dogs, going door to door. The FBI sent the Violent Crimes Task Force out on the streets. Both the mom and dad were questioned. Police set up a command post. And later, the family put up posters and searched themselves. Everyone hoping to find Bianca safe. Everyone, of course, so worried tonight. Don't be a monster and do, you know, what the unthinkable. Don't be a monster and leave her out here in this cold. Don't be a monster and kill her. You know, bring her home. Just bring my niece back. I don't care about anything else. Bring her back to me. That's all I want. We love her and we miss her and we need her home. Now, family members and police are saying, if you know anything, if you have the child, drop the child off at a police station, a church, a hospital, a fire station, a store, someplace public, and those people can bring her home. They say that whatever happened this morning, the little girl had nothing to do with it, and she needs to be brought home safe and alive. Also, the chief told us an anonymous person offered a $5,000 reward tonight, and that's on top of Crime Stoppers. So if you know anything, call 313-596-2260. That's 313-596-2260. Everybody wants Bianca to be home and be safe. Reporting live, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Absolutely, Cheryl. Hopefully that reward will help. Quick question for you, though. Mom and Dad, are they on good terms? You know, are they getting along? They've known each other almost all their lives, and um, they're not married. You know, they live separately. But the dad is trying to get his life together, according to family members, going to college, and was trying to spend some time with his daughter because he was actually, he was imprisoned when she was born. So he's just getting to know her, and he was having her for a week and was supposed to be coming home to get more clothing for her. He was going to keep her for a few more weeks, and that's when he says he was carjacked just a few blocks from here on Custer Street. The mom house is right behind me so that's his story and right now police say that they're going with that and you saw the sketch and uh, they said they're gonna wide open the case is wide open they'll look at everything all right